Hello. Uh, we're glad to know you're still there. It's still at the breakfast, and right now we're going to look at some of the papers. Uh, there are so many papers and taking almost the same headlines uh, throughout these papers, but we are going to uh, see uh, some of these differences, uh, what, what news was carried by one paper that was not carried by another, and what is the biggest headline in uh, all the papers. So let's begin with the Daily Trust newspaper. Uh, we hope to be joined by a guest to x-ray these headlines, but until then, uh, let's look at what the Daily Trust is saying. The leading headline there is, seven weeks after Tinubu's visit, Nigeria, UAE row lingers. Remember that uh, last time when the president visited the UAE, uh, some people, there were rumors that uh, all the problems have now been solved. Uh, problems between the UAE and uh, Nigeria have now been solved. And um, some people came out, the UAE government came out and said that was not uh, true. But whatever was the discussion in that uh, meeting, um, we do not know uh, when the gains will start to show. Uh, the writers on that story are Nigerians in UAE cry out over work permit visa ban. Federal government working to resolve issue, according to an official, and decry slow pace in resolving diplomatic role. Okay, uh, another headline there, just above that, is impeachment plot. PDP governors meet today to save reverse governor. Then 90 million Nigerians lack access to electricity. That's the president. Okay, uh, just uh, before we go there, the impeachment plot, remember, in River State, it's like it's a political inferno in that state. Every, um, every day we hear of uh, uh, the, the governor being threatened with impe um, impeachment. Uh, at some point, we hear that he was assaulted by even the security personnel. Uh, we wonder who sent them. Uh, he was, they poured water on him, and he himself is uh, claiming that he was being shot at by the security personnel themselves. But we do hope to have a guest that will be talking with us on that this morning, and he is in um, Port Harcourt. He will be able to give us a true picture of what is happening. So, another headline is that 20 fear dead in Cross River Benway community boundary dispute. Uh, it's always an, uh, a recurrent um, decimal as it is. Uh, people fighting between maybe Obudu, Bekwara, and some other places in uh, Benue State. They are bordering themselves, and um, there's always that fight over farmland and so many other things. Whatever the issue is, I hope that two governors will come together and do the needful. Tinubu and Tiku continue feud after Supreme Court uh, verdict. So the writers here are judgment mandate bandit robbery xvp um your inordinate ambition doomed as a presidency so there's a war of words between the former uh, vice president of nigeria and the presidency right now while one says one thing the other one counters and the war of words we don't know when that will end all we want in nigeria is good governance and that things be done the right way fec approves 2.18 trillion naira uh, 2023 supplementary budget. So from now till December, we have that approved uh, to supplement uh, whatever was budgeted for this year. Unstoppable exchange rate forces imports down by 65% in third quarter. And finally, Taraba boat accident. 17 bodies recovered, 12 rescued. Now we have an official picture of how many people may have been lost in that uh, um, unfortunate event. 17 bodies recovered, 12 rescued. We do not know if the 17 bodies that have been recovered are the only bodies or there are going to be more bodies. Remember that the boat was said to be carrying about 100 people. So now only 12 people, 12 people have been rescued and 17. Uh, that ma makes it um, 29 people that are accounted for, whether dead or alive. So we... We hope for better news rather than the worst news that we might be expecting at this time. We move to the next paper. The next paper, um, it, uh, the Punch newspaper, leads with uh, Retire Now, Presidency Tells Atiku, Ex-Vice President Rubbishes Supreme Court uh, Judgment. Retire Now, okay, that's on the Punch newspaper. The writers on that story are Apex Court legitimizes illegality, Atiku insists, 
urges INEC to verify credentials. Atiku's presidential ambition doomed. Ex-VP desperate, says APC and the presidency. Uh, those, that is the headline in the Punch newspaper. And we also have Tinubu canvases 2 trillion naira discos recapitalization tariff review. We also have federal government approves 2.2 trillion naira supplementary budget. We've already had that. 70 copses uh, uncovered in a cattle market near uh, in Abia State. We've already had that. Reverse assembly in crisis as Wiki's UK, loyalists move to impeach Fubara. Uh, then Taraba government mourns 100 boat accident victims, orders probe. And then uh, Ohaneze Soludo Mon as legal icon Mwabweze dies at 94. May he rest in peace. Okay, those were the headlines in uh, the, on the Punch newspaper. Uh, we'll move to another newspaper right now. After the Punch newspaper, we have the Nation newspaper. The Nation newspaper leads with the River State uh, story. Rivers quakes as governor gets impeachment notice. And then assembly splits into two. Faction sacks CJ. Fubara fires Wiki's loyalist, says, I can't be impeached. Okay. So we also have U.S. court declines request seeking release of Tinubu's FBI records. Um, that's still there. By Elsa Imo Kogi 2023, security agencies will ensure credible elections, uh, Ribadu promises. And then Imo students endorse Uzodima's re-election bid. And then we have uh, Odds Favor Diri says Ikeoha, more uh, defections to APC in Kogi state. Okay, so... We have Imo, uh, Bielsa, and Kogi State elections coming up on the 11th of November, and uh, gradually campaigns are winding up. Um, FEC OKs 2.17 trillion Naira 2023 supplementary budget, um, 5.9 billion for FCT roads. Okay, and then we have Nigeria, Germany sign $700 billion uh, solid minerals exploration pact. Okay, we have those stories on the Nation newspaper. You might want to read up on them. Uh, CNG buses will revolutionize transport sector. Uh, all we're asking is when are they going to arrive and when will we start making use of them, the buses that were promised because of uh, the hardship caused by fuel subsidy removal. Um, then we also have what we have read before, Atiku slams Supreme Court over election verdict. Okay. Now, um, we're moving to another newspaper. Another newspaper that uh, we're going to take this morning. Uh, we've had Daily Trust. Uh, we've had the Punch newspaper we have nation so the guardian newspaper now let's see what the guardian also says uh, this morning the guardian newspaper leads with uh, licenses of 17 discos gencos due for renewal revocation november 1 that's tomorrow you can read that on page six of the guardian newspaper all right and then uh, we also have crisis in rivers as assembly splits, gets two speakers, moves to impeach Fubara. Okay, that's another very, very great headline there. Uh, River State is, like I said earlier, is boiling now. Uh, the governor is facing threat of impeachment. It's always been happening in River State. Um, uh, when uh, Governor Amechi, the ex-governor, the erstwhile governor of River State, came into power, he was seen to be fighting his godfather that uh, was there before him, his predecessor. There was a fight between them. When Wike came into office, there was a fight between Wike and Amechi. Now Fubara has come into office, barely six months or thereabouts, and there's a fight 
between him and Wiki. At least those are the stories that we're hearing, that um, the fight is between him and Wiki. Uh, he's not doing the bidding of his master. And we hear that threats have been flying around. One of them is that, remember, I was your accountant general. Whatever that means, uh, let's wait to see how the coming days will be. If he's going to be impeached, what other skeletons can be exhumed from wherever they have been hidden? Uh, it's, it's, it's almost like, well, it's time to show where the bodies are buried, <laughs> as it were. But we do hope that the peace will reign in government house in River State. From a do state to uh, on do state to River State now and to any other state that we are finding these problems, there should just be peace in government house because that is where governance begins. So when there is no peace there, it will affect the entire a state as it is. So let development go on. Let there be peace. And no development can happen when there is no peace where there should be peace. Government house should not be a place of uh, having duels every day uh, between governor and godfather or governor and the deputy governor and so many other cabals and all that. We want good governance and not um, uh, distraction that will make the people suffer. River State has a great arsenal, so maybe that's why everybody that goes there wants to cling to power on, in some way or the other. But there are states that we've seen the ex-governors not interfering, or at least uh, even if they need to interfere, is to bring peace rather than to go and dictate to the people uh, what they need to do. A governor has all the powers to do what he needs to do. So if Fubara has really committed a crime that he needs to be impeached, well, we are yet to see. Uh, let them bring it to the fore. And things must be done the right way. That's all we are calling for. Uh, but like I said, we hope to be joined by someone from uh, River State that will be talking to us on uh, uh, this very topic, what is happening in the, the political climate in River State. In the meantime, we'll take yet another break, and we'll be back in a moment. Stay with us.